Well, absence is important because for schools and teachers to help students to develop knowledge and skills, students need to show up in classrooms. Higher absence rate can lower student academic achievement. It also correlates with drug use, crime, and other risky behaviors. Yet absence rate is high. So on average, secondary school students in the US miss about 8% of their school days. Existing research about absence is almost exclu exclusively based on full day absences, missing class skipping within days. Actually, students might miss classes when they attend other classes during a day, which we call part day absences in this paper. In fact, we find that such part day class absences are very prevalent. We examine data from all secondary school students from school years 2007 to 2012 from a large urban school district. The unique feature of this data set is that it has track records of students' um, attendance by class by day. This extremely detailed data allow us to really classify absences into full day and part day absences. We also uh, have data about the reason of the absences so we can differentiate them by excused or unexcused reasons. The first question we asked is how prevalent is party compared to full day absenteeism? If we consider absences at a daily level, on average, students are party absent 12% of their school days, which is three times as common as full day absenteeism. Slightly more than half of full day absences are unexcused. However, 92% of party absences are unexcused rather than excused. If we consider absence at a class level instead of daily level, 52% of all absences from classes are on part days rather than full days, meaning that part day absence is as prevalent as full day absences. So conventionally, when a student misses more than 10% of their classes, we think the student is chronically absent. When we only consider class absences on days that student is full day absent, the average chronic absence rate in our data is 9% over all grades and years. After incorporating part day absences, however, this rate jumps to 24%, more than doubling the previous number. This indicates that we might under underestimate chronic absence rate a lot if we miss part day absences. Next, we examine what characteristics of the class predict party class absence. We look at class period, whether a class is a core or non-core subject, and specific class subject matters. Students have party class absences from their first period classes more often than from classes in period two through seven. And across the day, the trend is about U-shaped. This turns out to be there turns out to be no big differences between core versus non-core subjects or specific class subject matters. Lastly, we ask how prevalent how prevalence and patterns in part day class absences differ across different types of students. In this graph, we can tell in high school, unexcused class absence class absences, which is a blue line, are far more common than excused party class absences and both excused and unexcused absences on full days. So unexcused class absences on both full day and part days see a discrete jump in the transition year from middle school to high school. While those on full, day, full days decline later on, but those on part days continue to grow through, uh, through 12th grade. This means that part day class absence is a major driving force behind the increase of total absences, and its importance seems to grow when students progress through grades. We then look at chronic absence rate by racial group. If we consider both full day and part day absences, chronic absence rate increased by grade among each racial gr ethnic group to reach a rate of 47.7% in 12th grade across all students. The black and Hispanic students have a much higher share of chronically absent students than other racial and ethnic groups, and also experience a more dramatic increase when they enter high school. In 12th grade, about 70% of black students are chronically absent, compared to only 23% of Asian students. To summarize, we find that part day absenteeism in secondary school is extremely prevalent and in fact explains more classes missed by students than does full day absenteeism. 
the vast majority of these party absences are unexcused, and they increase with each middle and high school grade. Our findings suggest the need for policies and practices to consider party absence when targeting approaches to reduce absences. This is a paper which we are missing, a descriptive analysis of party absenteeism in secondary school.